Welcome to the 14th Annual Denton Public School Foundation Groundhog Day Gala, celebrating our 21st year of support for the Denton Independent School District. Thank you for attending tonight's event. Many individuals, families, and organizations are being honored and recognized for their generous donations and support of the foundation. We'd like you to know a little more about each of our generous donors. Balfour Beatty, $25,000 full endowment. Since the mid-90s, Balfour Beatty has served as construction manager for the district's fast-paced growth and has given more than $250,000 since 2002. This money has been used for innovative classroom projects and special needs at the campus level. This year, Balfour Beatty is creating two full endowments, one for a grant to teachers and one as a scholarship for students pursuing a degree in the construction industry. The remaining money will be used for other unfunded projects requested in the district. These grants are awarded each December during the annual prize patrol. Another way Gary Ryan and others from Balfour Beatty enjoy supporting the foundation and Denton teachers and staff. One of the good things about our mentoring program up here is it really has made me realize we're not just telling kids what we think they want to hear. We're actually providing them real opportunities within technology, within an industry that has a, a dynamic presence in the marketplace as far as what you can do and all the professions that are available within the construction industry. And this has really opened up my eyes and how I could work better with the district in providing opportunities for their students. Sacco and Burroughs, $10,000 full endowment. Greg Sacco and Mark Burroughs recognize how a strong educational foundation builds a successful community. Since 2002, they contributed more than $370,000 to the foundation and Denton schools. This year's contribution will establish their ninth scholarship for graduating seniors. Their Support Our Schools Fund and Coach for Kids ride are further examples of the numerous ways they continue their commitment to support our district students and teachers. Both Mark and Greg have served on the foundation board, and they continue to give back in countless ways through their service and commitment to the Denton community. Their belief in the work of the foundation has been steadfast since the very beginning and has been a touchstone for its success. One of the things we did at the start to assist in getting the foundation off the ground was to pay part of the salary of the executive director for a number of years. We've also committed over the years to, I think, at this point, we're probably at about three hundred fifty dollars to $380,000 that we have directly committed to the foundation for scholarships and teacher grants. I believe a essential element of being a good community partner that local businesses support the community generally and vice versa. That's what shopping local is about. And it's only when the local businesses become engaged locally with the community and the Public School Foundation is one of the best examples of an opportunity to engage because nothing's more important than educating our children. Local business folks like us, even though we're a small law firm, uh, need to step up. And we've been committed to that at Stockholm and Burroughs since our inception a little over 20 years ago. Also, going on the prize patrol themselves and giving grants to teachers, it's crazy how much fun it is. I mean, the teachers get excited, the kids in the classroom get excited. It's amazing to see how much your donation, your contribution to their success makes them feel so good. CH and GS to Collins Academic Service Student Scholarship, $10,000 endowment. CH, Curtis, and GS to Collins were devoted educators who had passion for helping young people succeed. Both grew up at a time when education was not easily available for young African Americans. Yet each had families with strong beliefs in the power of education and a determination to overcome the obstacles that stood in their way. CH and G. Esther were dedicated leaders and educators in their community. They raised their family with these same strong beliefs, and today many carry on this legacy of education. CH, better known as Coach, gave 46 years to education, while G. Esther taught for more than 35 years. Today, the Denton ISD Athletic Stadium bears the name of Coach Collins, a fitting tribute to a man who played a significant role in the history of our district and to his wife and partner who supported him through it all. This student scholarship will continue to honor the Collins' love for education and their selfless service for their community. They were about helping others, and to carry on that legacy to, of helping others, we thought it would be very, uh, a very good idea to continue what they have done in lifetime to continue on yeah. in their memory. But yeah, they were, they were good people. <laughs> they were good yeah, people. Gene and Lynn Gumphrey granted teachers $10,000 endowment and Sonic of Denton Student Scholarship $10,000 endowment. 
Gene and Lynn Gumphrey came to Denton in 1986 to run the Sonic Drive-In on West University, which celebrated their 50th anniversary. One drive-in soon mushroomed into a wide-ranging group of restaurants and other ventures, and the Gumphreys made their mark in the community as supporters of projects and givers to the community. Gene and Lynn are strong believers in education and the power and abilities that come from a solid school experience. They know the importance of a strong relationship between the business community and the school district, and so they've chosen to give two generous endowments to the foundation. One will help to enhance teachers' resources for the classrooms, and the other will support and encourage graduating seniors to further their education beyond high school. Thanks to Gene and Lynn for their belief in the power of learning. The foundation kind of is the starting point for lots of things whether it be a scholarship for, for the kids, grants for the teachers, and, and gives our staff a little monies to do the extra things that they might need to do. So I thought this was probably the best way to do it. Barbara Fisher granted teachers $10,000 endowment. After nearly 30 years as a teacher and administrator, Barbara Fisher retired from Denton ISD in 2015. Her passion and commitment to the students she served and the staff she led comes straight from her heart. One of her colleagues put it best, I don't think words can describe her leadership, her foresight, her attention to families and students. She exemplifies what a quality school leader should be. Throughout her career with the district, Barbara served as an elementary special education instructor, an elementary school assistant principal, interim director of deaf education, and lastly as a secondary school principal. When asked, Dr. Jamie Wilson said the best part about Barbara is that she always put students before anything else and made sure they were able to succeed. This has been the hallmark of Barbara Fisher's career and legacy she's left with countless DISD students and also the reason why very grateful Guyer High School parents chose to establish this endowment in her name, that teachers who receive a Barbara Fisher's grant will be inspired to the same high goals, leadership, and dedication. I feel very humbled. The parents at Guyer are wonderful. They trusted their children to us and helped in any way possible, and their giving attitude about this is very overwhelming. It's, it, I'm humbled by it. I hope that the teacher, that the teachers use it to help them better meet the needs of their children in the classroom because in every school in Denton you have a wide range of kids with a wide, wide range of needs and I, I just want them to be able to use this to give new experiences to the students and uh, do something with it that they wouldn't otherwise have been able to do. The Don Vaughn Dyslexia granted teachers $2,500 term endowment. After a very teaching career, Don Vaughn made the commitment to work with dyslexic students when her own daughter was diagnosed in elementary school. She's challenged to find the strengths and giftedness that each child has and to provide the support that enables them to be successful. Robert and Laura Ramirez saw this as Ms. Vaughn worked with their dyslexic son. And it was apparent that he had dyslexia and that he needed help. And the help that was given there the strides that he made, the ability not just to stay on grade, but to really be near the top. And as he's progressed to the next level of school, he's maintained that. And we think that that is based upon what Miss Vaughn did for him through that program. And we want to make sure that other kids that are dealing with dyslexia have that same help. Their hope is that this grant will help provide the tools needed at the school to help more students who struggle to learn because of dyslexia and to thank a very special teacher who made a difference for their son. Um, what these um, teachers do day in and day out sometimes just gets taken for granted, you know, because they do such great work and I think it gets overlooked. And I think to put the spotlight on the program and what they do and, and, and how successful they are, I think that's a good thing. This endowment is set up for a five-year period and I'm hoping to be able to maybe assess uh, professional development if I need to go to something, you know, that will uh, increase my knowledge and understanding of how to work with the children and also uh, be able to approach new technology because technology is always ever-changing and then also uh, looking in the future at maybe different programs or things that might uh, help with differentiating instruction. Kevin and Emily Roden granted teachers $2,500 term endowment. With three young children of their own, Emily and Kevin Roden know firsthand the importance of school readiness and the impact a child's first three to five years experience has in determining their success in school. With Emily's background as a teacher, she developed an innovative program named after their oldest daughter as an aid to parents of preschool children. Ready Rosie offers daily videos giving parents ideas and activities to help prepare their children for kindergarten. In 2013, then ISD adopted Ready Rosie as a tool for parents of preschoolers and offered it as a free service. 
The rodents are establishing this term endowment because they believe in this concept strongly and recognize the importance of giving tools and resources to our pre-K teachers to support them as partners with parents in this creative approach to learning. The words that are in a kid's head at age three are highly predictive of whether or not they're going to be ready for kindergarten, whether or not they're going to be reading by third grade, and ultimately whether or not they're going to be graduating and successful uh, in life. So more and more science is telling us you've got to capture these kids when they're two, three, four years old uh, to put them on a good trajectory. Through the work of the foundation, through the work of the schools, through the work of resources like Ready Rosie and other local businesses who are not even in the education realm, that there would be a heightened sense of a shared understanding of the job and the task before the schools, the public schools today, um, that it's different than it was before um, due to, to all different circumstances um, that are facing our country today. Den Chamber of Commerce grants the teachers $6,768. The Den Chamber of Commerce and Den ISD have enjoyed a long-standing relationship of support and involvement in educational initiatives. The Chamber has made a decision to give back in an innovative way by establishing funding for grants to first-year DISD employees. This year, 11 teachers received grants for projects to enhance their classroom experience, things like classroom technology, building classroom libraries, and even Lego sets for learning. We celebrate the Chamber's example of support for our teachers and students and our continued partnership with them. The purpose of the contribution is to go towards scholarship funding for new teachers in Denton ISD, and the contribution comes from the support that we receive for the new employee reception every year in August. And as a business community, we are very much interested in helping to further the resources and supporting our educators in any way that we can. CrossFit Denton Social Services Grant $8,391. CrossFit Denton is a community, a family, a network of like-minded people connected by their interest and involvement in physical training and well-being. They're all invested members of our community. Their mission of using fitness to develop and better their members' abilities naturally leads to the idea of bettering their community. And so was born an idea to give back to the students and families of DISD in ways that would make better tomorrows for them. Funding from this event is used to meet the needs of DISD families who are facing extraordinary or unexpected challenges. The Back to School Barbell Bash held in August 2015 raised nearly $8,400 for DISD social service needs. The owners and members of CrossFit Denton, John and Kayla Thompson, along with DISD teacher Amy Gully, have committed to bettering the lives of our children and their families. I think that business owners have a vested interest in what's going on in our community. Um, from a practical side, it's good for our business, but I also think that we should give back to the city that supports us as well. The funds that we raise through the Barbell Bash will go to low-income families to help them purchase school supplies and books. The Miles Foundation Special Contribution for Denton High School IB Program. The mission of the Miles Foundation of Fort Worth is simply to support projects dedicated to creating opportunities for learning and leadership. Today, the Miles Foundation embodies the philosophy of its founder, Ellison Miles, that by supporting the individual, the whole community is strengthened and empowered. This belief led to a generous funding of an innovative project with Denton High School's International Baccalaureate Program, Bronco U. The project's goal is to offer incentives and support to DHS students to help prepare them for college and encourage more college applications. Beth Hughes, DHS IB coordinator, is excited about the possibilities this grant creates. Incentives for early college application, college tours, SAT and ACT study prep are all tools that will hopefully inspire DHS students to make the most of these resources as stepping stones to a bright and successful future. Again, the Denton Public School Foundation would like to thank all the people, families, and organizations that have made tonight possible. Thank you for your support. I'm Rob Coffey, DISD Public Address Announcer, wishing you and yours a good evening.